Alright, I've started up. I made a plane, which I hid. And it's an offset plane, an eighth of an inch from the top of the bottle. And I've uh, started a sketch, and I've, of course, projected you know, the geometry to it you know, by using the convert entities. And now we're going to draw a spiral. We're going to cut threads in the bottle. So, you know, select that command, and this pops up. And, of course, you can actually move these things out of the way. I didn't know that. <clears throat> now I've set the angle to zero and then it makes it you know clockwise. You can see what the direction vector is here. So and of course you know you can set it to counterclockwise here if you wanted to. Okay, and uh, you know I clicked reverse direction so that'll be below the plane there. But you know you can also you know, if you wanted to create a two dimensional spiral you can click that click that. And then of course, you know, you can, you know, have your specifications based on height and revolution and so forth, like you see there. Now, you know, you can control the, the pitch, you know, we set it to eighth of an inch, so it's, you know, pitch is, you know, measured between threads um, and our thread peaks or what have you. And then, um, you know, the number of revolutions is set to 2.5. Um, And you can make it variable pitch too if you wanted to by editing this table. So, <clears throat> and you can also set a taper to it if you want. Um, you know, so the whole thing tapers like that. You know, so it tapers out. So, which is kind of cool. Oh shit! I fucked up. You know, that plane was supposed to be. Uh, uh, below the top of the bottle. So I'm going to flip it. And that put our spiral where it's supposed to be, I suppose. <laughs> so it's good that you can edit, you know, a plane that you create like that. So. All right, he set this up uh, start point to zero so that it would align perfectly with the right plane in this case. So, okay, you can see I drew this profile, and then we dimension this out to make these two equal, and you know, set dimensions. Now, you know, we created a you know a construction line that has a horizontal constraint, a coincident constraint, with a midpoint of that segment there. But if you grab this point, you know, you select the point, okay, and then grab it, you know, you can, you know, attach it to the end point of our helix here. supposed to be two coincident relationships there so something didn't work right oh there we go <coughs> you had to wait for both of them to appear so it's kind of quirky again anyway Apparently, the way to constrain this profile is, you know, I had to draw a dimension between this edge, not the node, but the edge, and this construction line, and that will constrain the threads to this diameter. So it was a good way of fully defining the diagram for thread drawing, apparently. Although I think his threads are reversed. Oh, I see what he's going to do. He's going to add, this is an added thread. It's not, he's not cutting into it. He's going to sweep it. So, okay, now what he's doing here is kind of interesting. You know, this was just a swept feature, you know, creating the thread. But <coughs> he had me put this other little axis here, you know, when we were doing that previous sketch. And, you know, then we'd use the revolve base command. <coughs> You know, so, you know, and, and hiding this sketch six, um, 
you know, we chose that axis, you know, and it's basically going to revolve that into the bottle, so it gives us the start of our thread. Um, so, apparently it's at the same angle of the, or pitch of as the thread, I suppose. So, you know, when we create it, and higher sketch um, now that's what we get okay now we're going to go create a sketch right here and I'll start a sketch and do a convert entities on it select a profile and use the convert entities command like this you know select convert entities okay I just drew an, an, another profile construction line on this 3 8 of an inch all set now we're going to um, open the revolve command Okay, and set this to like uh, 60 degrees, I think it is. Um, probably change the direction. <coughs> you know, we've already got that axis selected, you know, so by default. <coughs> and then we're done. That's pretty much the end of the thread. Here's what it looks like in a you know, shaded mode without lines, so pretty cool, really. Must be a science to it, you know what I mean? <laughs>